Yo, Mark Taylor here. I just wanted to give a quick market update about the events I've been seeing today and my thoughts about the near term, medium term, and long term, and share a little bit about my perspective here. So today we gapped down and then we just started going up and basically had almost no pullback and then ended on the session highs. So that was pretty cool. And that was a pretty big bullish reversal sign. So short term, very bullish, especially since when you think about when we have pullbacks, not like crashes, we usually have a pullback of a two to three day followed by a recovery. And so today we had a pullback followed by a recovery. So we had kind of two full sessions with one, you know, intraday pullback, but then we ended in the highs. But anyway, it looked like a very strong reversal, bullish sign. So near term, very bullish about us going higher, at least to, you know, go near the highs we've already hit or to see if we can exceed those highs. So we're going to see how that plays out. Medium term, very unsure. So what's happening in the medium term? We're starting to get back to work and we're going to experience a new normal with the illness situation and how is that going to impact people spending are people going to spend more are people going to spend less there's some questions that i just don't have the answers to and don't really know there i can kind of think of certain things that people can buy less of certain things that people can buy more of so how is that going to impact the economy overall so we're gonna have to find out and see how that plays out and shakes down what's the second thing well as the economy start to open up we're going to get more people back to work. And so the concern is, and I, you know, kind of the inevitability that there's going to be a second wave of this illness. And how is that going to impact the stock market? Well, the big impact, first of all, that these are just two huge uncertainties. And the uncertainties also lie with the local and state governments. How are we going to react? And obviously federal too, but how are we going to react to this when there is a second wave? Are we gonna shut down our economy again and have another shelter in place? Are we gonna do something different? Are we gonna do more tracking of people who are ill via app like the one that Salesforce is developing, the content tracing? Are, what are we gonna be doing exactly? So that'd be really interesting to find out and see how that plays out. That would have a huge impact on our economy if we had to do a shelter in place and the stock market would take a big hit potentially. So this will be interesting to see how it plays out and in a bearish case scenario, I could see us filling out this megaphone type pattern that we're forming here. Not that that we're gonna resolve just straight down like that. It could be more gradual, I think would be more gradual. I don't think we're necessarily gonna have a crazy 30 plus percent crash in a matter of weeks. I think it's gonna be kind of more gradual since we kind of see what the situation looks like. It's gonna be more of a gradual decline like we had in previous declines in the stock market. So that's something that interesting to look out for. So what about long-term? Well, I'm very confident that we will adapt, evolve and progress as a society. And we'll find out new ways to do business, to do other things. And I believe in the ingenuity and the, just the kind of resourcefulness of people. And so then that's the reason why that I'm bullish in the stock market always there will always be new innovations we'll find out new ways to solve people's problems and when there's more problems there are more things to create for people and more things for people to buy so even though we might stop buying something there'll be more new things to fill our time well thanks for watching i hope to see you guys in the next one